Good evening. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your text messages and iMessages using iMessage Exporter, a free tool for the Mac. iMessage Exporter will create a local backup with your full conversation history that you can search and read through. By creating a local backup of your messages, you can then save space by deleting your message history from your iPhone, your Mac, and from iCloud. So to get started, you can click here to find the link to download iMessage Exporter. Now, if you have a newer Mac with an Apple Silicon chip, you're gonna download this link here, arch64.tar.gz. If you have an older Intel-based Mac, you're gonna download x8664.tar.gz, this link here. If you're not sure, you can go to the Apple menu and open About This Mac. If you have an Apple chip, then you'll download this first link here. I have a newer Mac with an M2 chip, and so I'm gonna download this one. And you'll see this in your Downloads folder. Double-click it to expand it. You should see a black icon that says iMessage Exporter. Double-click on it, and you'll see this pop up here. Click Done. Now you'll open System Settings, Scroll down to Privacy and Security. Scroll down again and click Open Anyway. Now iMessage Exporter is a very popular open source app. That means that it's been checked and double checked. Anybody can look at the source code. Anybody can verify that it doesn't do anything suspicious. So you're gonna click Open Anyway. Then you'll have to type in your password. After it launches, you'll get this window here. This window is just explaining how to use iMessage Exporter. It tells you how to use it, and it tells you all of the different options. You're gonna open a new terminal window by hitting Command N on your keyboard. And now we're ready to create a backup. You're gonna type in CD for change directory and type in downloads and hit enter because iMessage Exporter is in the downloads folder. You're gonna type in dot slash iMessage exporter dash F HTML. That's telling it that you want rich formatting. You're gonna add in dash M and type in your first name. That makes the data easier to read. Finally, you're gonna choose whether or not you want to include attachments. If you choose to back up your iMessages, including the attached photos and videos, It'll take up much more space on your hard drive, but it will be more complete. If you want to include attachments, you'll type in dash C, clone. If you don't want to include attachments and you want to save space, you'll leave it out. Now, just hit enter. And it'll make your backup. You can find your backup inside your home folder in the file browser. Here you'll see iMessage export, and you can browse through your entire message history. You can double click any of these to open it or click the search field to search for something specific. Here's an example of what the results look like. As you can see, it formats them in nice blue bubbles and gray bubbles, just like the original conversation. It has date stamps, including read receipts, rich links, and previews of all the original attachments. It's a really friendly way to read through your old conversations. And that is how you can archive your messages. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.